What is good guys, it's your boy Stock J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about something absolutely groundbreaking that a CFA has said regarding AMC stock, ticker symbol AMC. Before I get started, I have to mention two quick things. First off, I'm not a financial legal taxation expert, so do not take this as financial legal taxation advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this one with me and the entire community as a whole. With that all said and done and out of the way, let's get on with the video. So right over here is where it starts. For those of you who don't know, there's a man named Peter Hahn. He is a CFA in the city of Calgary. He's a well-known financial analyst and he's very, very, very intelligent and he is able to give financial advice. He is a stock expert. He knows what he's talking about and this is what he just said on his Twitter. He said that I understand why the hedgies do this but it's so stupid because they are doomed. They created too many synthetics when the price was eight to $10. It doesn't matter if a million shareholders fold here. There is a core 3 million retail who are long at $12 or lower. So this guy is basically saying that it doesn't matter what these hedge funds are doing. And he's implying that they are responsible for what is going on to AMC or what has been going on over the past few days. That's an implication of what he just said. And notice he said that they are doomed. They are doomed. Why? Because so many people are simply buying and holding AMC. And it's not just the people that are buying and holding, but there's a core 3 million people that have actually gotten in at $12 or lower. So he knows that the movement has massive, massive merit. And he's not just once again, some random person out there. This is a professional CFA that has been saying this. He also mentioned something very, very funny. He basically um, quoted a lyrics from a song and he instead changed all the lyrics to make them relevant to AMC and GME. And he said that GME, so I have a horrible singing voice. I'm going to try to just say it. Uh, I'm just going to try, okay? GME slash AMC price fell, and the SEC seems gone. Steal your heart. The squeeze will come. So right off the bat, this guy literally just said, the squeeze will come. Peter Hahn is saying that the squeeze will come for AMC and GME. He said, the wait is long, and the pat is dark pools. Look to the moon, for one day soon, the squeeze will come. This is not me saying this. This is literally a professional CFA. This is Peter Hahn saying the squeeze is going to come. And once again, guys, we don't need Peter Hahn to tell us this. We don't need anyone out there to tell us this. We did our due diligence. The people off YouTube, people like you, people like me, the people that get involved, we already know the logic and the reasoning behind this. We know that there are enough apes out there. We know what's happening to the overall market. But I just want you guys to know that, look, I want to bring more confidence in our conviction. If you don't want to trust everything I say or other people out there on YouTube or the internet, you can put your trust in some very, very big professional people such as Charles Payne or Peter Hahn who believe in the squeeze. It's just that, like he said right over here, um, the wait is long. So this doesn't mean that he's giving a specific date. And he actually said this in another tweet. Uh, he basically wants you to know that we're not going to set any specific dates, guys. Be prepared to see amc squeeze when the squeeze happens no matter how long it takes he said in his twitter and this is literally from his twitter he said to all the people that drive by some of my posts and ask me uh, what i think the amc price target is i don't have a magic eight ball it depends on several factors the amount of synthetics the levels at which the retail sells and the price sensitivity to those cells x factors and etc so once again guys okay maybe we can't promise any specific prices like i say in all my videos i do talk about how potential price targets are possible whether it's 1000 or 5000 or 10000 it's definitely possible it's possible but no one can promise any perfect numbers out there however guys we do know that it has insane upwards momentum and potential because amc has huge 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 potential and it's a game of patience and once again i do say this in my videos but i'm repeating it because i'm repeating the words of what peter Hahn is saying and he's a very 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 credible source out there so Anyways, guys, I want to talk about something else very, very big, and it's in relation to what Peter Hahn said. It's something else that someone named Blake Strack just said. He said, they are flooding the zone, trying to induce panic selling, a sense of powerlessness, such desperation, a dying gasp. 
what you smell is the rot and decay of Wall Street dinosaurs. And he could not have said that even better than that. Basically, if you look at AMC's overall price movement, if you look at the six-month chart, to make it simple, uh, you could see that AMC has had some downward pressure every now and then. But look at it over the past month. AMC had this huge, huge, huge run-up, and it had these moments of red. But the most recent one happened over the past five days. You could see this huge, huge, huge downward trend just right here before AMC began to start recovering. But I'm bringing this up again to know that just look at what Peter Hahn said. They are trying to bring it down. Peter Hahn literally said that uh, somewhere around here, I believe it's right over here, he said, I understand why the hedges do this, but it's so stupid. So he's trying to let you know that they're responsible as well. They played a big role in these downward trends, these movements, these short ladder attacks. That increases the odds, the probability that this is a short ladder attack. Now, I can't promise you that solely that, and then that's the only thing that played a role in this. There are many, many, many factors induced, but that definitely is a factor if you account for the dark pool activity and the short volume percentage. But there, this could be a short ladder attack and a massive, massive short ladder attack. I most definitely guarantee that the hedges are behind what is going on. They're trying to bring it down. So why are they doing that? One of the main reasons is the fact that we are in the bullish cycle right now and AMC has insane potential. So there's another post on Reddit. And I know that many people don't trust everything you see on Reddit, but they brought up a really, really good point. And you have to remember that this whole AMC, this whole GME movement, they started from Reddit as well. So why am I bringing that up is because there are great things that can be shown on Reddit, such as what Peter Han was saying. It was reported on Reddit. If you go on his Twitter, it's all true. So there are true and great things on Reddit as well. And this person brought up something interesting. They basically showed all these different charts and they're basically trying to let you know that the trend AMC is on, this downward cycle that has been going on for quite some time and the fact that amc has been consolidating for some time is normal and that's literally what happened in the past i've zoomed in, i've zoomed in like crazy but look at between i would say this this spike right over here around march between that time and between this time right over here which would be may between March and May, one and a half months, AMC was just literally frozen, trading sideways, going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth before it had this huge run up up to 72 around June. You guys remember that, right? Well, what's happened recently? After that, I would say around uh, August or so, or around uh, Jul the end of July to August, AMC was doing something very, very similar. AMC was just trading sideways for quite some time throughout July, throughout August, until now it's entering that bullish, bullish cycle once again. And they're projecting that AMC could hit $224. Now, I can't promise any specific numbers like Peter Hahn said. However, based off the trend what we're seeing is projected and it's completely normal it's a very 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 similar pattern to what we saw a couple of months ago before amc had that run-up not just in terms of price movement but also in terms of what ortex data is showing and many other things like that such as the short interest and utilization so i'm super super bullish for amc and when you see things like this happening i'm not surprised i'm not surprised by what these hedge funds are doing. So looking at the actual chart from my account, you could see that, look, there has been some downward pressure right over here. Why are they doing that? Because they're trying to shake people off. They're trying to trick you into selling. They do not, they want to try to kill the momentum that AMC has because it's so, so, so bullish right now. I do believe that all time highs are going to come soon. I do believe in the squeeze, and I'm not just this crazy person on the internet telling you that. There are many, many analysts out there saying the same exact thing. So it's a game of patience, guys. You have to remain patient. You have to remain strong and give AMC the time it needs for the mother of all short squeezes. Once again, guys, I'm not crazy, but even if I am crazy, I'm simply buying and holding more and more AMC stocks. So there are many, many people out there that overcomplicate AMC. They talk about this analysis. They talk about, you know, the MACD. They talk about RSI data. And I am a victim of that too. I often do do technical analysis every now and then. I do talk about some complicated things and I'm going to release some complicated things in later videos. But I just want you guys to know that this is a very, very simple play it's just a simple strategy we the apes i've said it a million times you've heard it a million times off the internet we simply buy and hold and wait it out because eventually eventually the shorts have to cover their positions this is a game of patience 
You just have to be calm, collected, and strong. So thank you so much for listening, guys. I really wish everyone the best. Have a great rest of the day and never, ever give up, guys. We are strong, we are apes, and we are going to win. With that all said and done, guys, never give up once again, and peace out.